dear students today we are going to see the topic function of a random variable so it is the continuation of previous videos what we are seeing previously about what is a discrete random variable what is a continuous random variable how to solve problems all these things so today our topic is function of a random variable we have discussed all the applications etc in the classroom so this video is concerning with how to solve the problem on function of a random variable okay let's go now let us see i have to take a continuous random variable i am going to take x first of all x should be a continuous random variable and its corresponding pdf i am going to notate is like f of x suffix capital x now i am going to assume y as g of x with a given transformation x and very important g should be a differentiable function so we will be having two cases the first case is it should be strictly monotonic so it might be strictly increasing or strictly decreasing and g is a one to one function it is very important we have to check g should be monotonic and g is a one to one function of x so now the formula to find pdf is going to be like pdf of y is going to be this okay so suppose if g is not strictly monotonic that is g is not one to one we have to pro solve the problem in splitting the cases like sub intervals where it is strictly increasing or decreasing okay so in this case we split the problem into sub intervals and we have to solve accordingly okay now let us go into a problem guys where you can get a clear picture okay so i am going to take x is a continuous random variable that is very important and f of x is given as x by 12 when x lies between 1 to 5 0 otherwise so now my job is to find the pdf of y that is going to be 2x minus 3 so i have to find the function of a random variable y whose equation is given as 2x minus 3 okay guys so let us solve the problem step by step okay so it's given fx of x is x by 12 in the interval 1 to 5 okay it is very obvious you see y equal to 2x minus 3 i'm going to take, take this as a function in a small letter y equal to 2x minus 3 it is very obvious it is 1 to 1 it don't have other options good and also i am going to check it is increasing or not when you do dy by dx i am getting a positive number first derivative test it is greater than zero so it is strictly increasing so the function is one to one it is strictly increasing that means i can go what i can apply function of a like i can able to solve the problem for a function of a random variable okay this is done now what i'm going to do i'm going to write this y in terms of y in terms of x to solve the problem so y is equal to 2x minus 3 so i am going to take x as y plus 3 by 2 okay this is done so now we have to write the formula for function of a random variable then only we know what we have to find so if x of x that is already available into modulus of dx dy okay good we have found this dx so now let's do 
dx by dy. So when you differentiate, I'll be getting 1 by 2, guys. So now we found dx by dy and we take the modulus. It should not be negative. So it is going to be again 1 by 2. Okay, good in the sense here. Now limits. I want to find the limits. So it is going to be very, very simple, guys, to find the limits. Okay, we'll make the table. Yes, good. So what are you going to do? Uh, when x equal to 1, that is one limit given. And when x equal to 5, the other limit like x lies between 1 to 5. So now we we have this equation. This one, when x equal to 1, I will be getting y equal to minus 1. And when x equal to 5, I will be getting 5 to 10, 10 minus 3, 7. So this is my new limit guys. So I found the limit now. Then now let us substitute all the information what I have inside the problem to complete it. So f y f y is t x d by dx by dy is 1 by 2. That is okay. Now uh, my function given in the question is x by 12. But you see my final solution, it should be in terms of y. So that's why we found this x. What is this x? When I substitute here, it will become y plus 3 divided by 2 into 12 into 2, etc. So it's going to be y plus 3 divided by 2. y plus 3 divided by Forty. Sorry, some technical issues. So it is going to be y plus 3 divided by 48. Now the problem over guys. So finally what you have to do from this information, you have to write the PDF of y. So PDF of capital Y is FY of y that is equal to y plus 3 by 8 that is 48 minus 1 y 7 this is the limits i found from this problem okay then zero otherwise so that's it guys in this way we have to find the function of a random variable hope you are confident with this function of random variable now now let us go into the other problems. Okay guys. Now they say some x is an exponential distribution. If x is a exponential distribution. Okay good. With parameter lambda. with parameter lambda. Now what we have to do? Find the find the PDF of y equal to e power minus lambda x. y equal to e power minus lambda x. So uh, for this problem actually one we have to know what is mean by exponential distribution all these things. Right now I am giving because uh, we doesn't land this exponential distribution in unit 1. So fx is going to be lambda e power minus lambda. So this is my exponential distribution function like PDF. So now it's going to be 0. Okay guys. So that means what you have to do? We have to consider what? y is equal to lambda e power minus lambda x. Sorry, not the y. It's f of x. Okay. 
y is given as e power minus lambda x. So now I have to check what is the y. So when I do dy by dx, I will be getting minus e power minus lambda x. So this is always going to be less than 0. My dy by dx is less than 0. So it is going to be strictly what? Decreasing. This function is going to be strictly decreasing function and it is obvious one to one. For each value of x, I will be finding only the unique value y. So both tests are done. Now let us go into the problem. So let us consider y equal to e power minus lambda x. So I want to cancel the exponential. So better what I do, I will take logarithm on both sides. Log base e is equal to, now it will become log base e and log e will get cancelled. Okay, or if you want, I can write the step log y is equal to log e power minus lambda x. So log and exponential get cancelled, we'll be getting this. So what I'm going to do, I need x. So x is equal to minus log y base e divided by lambda. Now x is done. So now what I have to do, I have to find, I have to find what? I have to find dx by dy. So dx by dy is going to be, when I differentiate this, log y differentiation is y into lambda. Okay, done. So all parts are done. Now we have to find the limits. So x greater than or equal to 0, it goes on. So now when x equal to 0, let us see how to find the limit. When x equal to 0, what will happen? Tell me guys, when x equal to 0, you will be getting what? When x equal to 0, you will be getting y equal to 1 because y value is e power minus lambda x. So this is done. Next, x is non-zero. So what will happen? It goes up to infinity. So when x is infinity, y will become 0. y will become 0. So now we have to write this properly. So my y limits are going to be 0 to 1. My y limits are going to be when x tends to infinity, y also tends to 0. Okay guys, this is done. Now what we have to do? We have to write the formula and substitute the answer in it. Then your problem over. <coughs> okay. Fy of y is equal to fx of x dx dy. So my fx already we said lambda in d power minus lambda x. So whenever I take modulus, 1 minus 1 by lambda y I have. So the modulus will remove the parameter minus. So this is nothing but y. So I will simply write lambda into y. This is going to be 1 by lambda y. So what is the answer guys? It's simply 1. That's it guys. So the problem for function of a random variable gets over. So I can smoothly write VDF of capital Y is F Y of Y that is going to be 0 if 0 less than Y less than or equal to 1 0 otherwise. That's it guys. So now we have learned two problems. Let us go into the 
different problem okay so this is also a uniform distribution we have to know the formula if x follows uniform distribution in minus pi by 2 to pi by 2 find the pdf of find the pdf of y equal to 10x guys very nice so now we know my limits are given okay so i have to now consider fx of x so the formula is b minus a for uniform distribution where b is nothing but a comma b your upper limit is pi by 2 your lower limit is minus pi by 2 pi into like minus into minus plus pi by 2 to pi by 2 it's pi so that's it guys now we have generated the pdf for x we have to generate the pdf for y again similarly so fx of x is going to be 1 by pi minus pi by 2 to pi by 2 it's going to be 0 otherwise so this is what the function we found from the problem now as usual guys i want x so x equal to tan inverse of y okay so we have to check the function y equal to tan x so y equal to tan x is 100 person one to one because we know the trigonometric formula okay it is one to one and at minus infinity to infinity when i differentiate this dx by dy it is going to be 1 by 1 plus y square okay so this is also monotonic it will never change so both the conditions satisfied now it's time to complete the problem okay so the formula is f y f y is going to be f x of x mod d x by d y so f x is 1 by pi my mod d x is 1 by 1 plus y square okay i can't change anything here now yeah this i forgot to say how we get it suppose if you have a doubt when you put what x limit when you put x equal to minus pi by 2 it's going to be tan minus pi by 2 it's minus infinity when you put x equal to plus pi by 2 y equal to plus infinity that's it guys so now the new random variable f y f y is going to be 1 by pi divided by 1 plus y square when y lies between when y lies between where to where 0 to sorry minus infinity to infinity hope you are now thorough with this problem guys i think maybe one more problem i'll do so we'll finish the business let us find the pdf of capital x given if x of x is e power minus x okay we'll do one problem on e power minus x x greater than zero and y is equal to 2x plus 1. So the limit is already clearly given y equal to 2x plus 1. So it is going to be what? It's strictly increasing and it is 1 to 1. That is very obvious by seeing the problem. It's 1 to 1 and strictly increasing so i can find x is equal to y minus 1 by 2 x is equal to y minus 1 by 2 ready made then for limits 
So since it is said x equal to zero, okay, x greater than zero, I'll take since it is a continuous continuous random variable, I am taking when x equal to zero, the corresponding y is one. When x tends to infinity, it's not exactly infinity; it is tending to infinity. Okay, when x tends to infinity, y is also tends to what? Infinity. So the problem over, guys. So what I have to do for problem solving purpose, I have to differentiate this. dx by dy is going to be minus one by two. Uh, when I take modulus. The negative disappears. The negative disappears. So f y f y is equal to f x of x dx by dy. So f x of x is e power minus x dx by dy is modulus of one by two. It's going to be e by two. Now since I'm writing the PDF for y. Everything should be in terms of y. I am going to substitute y minus two by two. Sorry, it's y minus one. Y minus one by two. So we have to write it in a nice way. Okay, how can I write? F y f y. So what can I say? It's one by two e power minus. Y minus one by two zero. At the limit one less than or equal to y up to infinity, it is going to be what the new function. Otherwise, it is going to be zero. Hope you understand, guys. So we complete this session, and hope you are confident to solve problems on. function of a random variable thanks for watching